Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day. My name is Mike. You know, one of the bigger names in free agency that's yet to sign is Ed Reed, obviously the all-world future Hall of Fame free safety of the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, he's been a, Ravens, a Raven his whole career. Uh, he's been courted quite publicly uh, by the Houston Texans. He took a visit down uh, to Houston to check out the facilities, um, go out to dinner with the coaching staff, meet the ownership and the general manager and all that stuff. Uh, he, he went there earlier this week, left without a deal, and now it's expected, reports coming out today, that he's going to make a decision uh, between the Texans, the Ravens, and whatever other team might be courting him that we don't know about. And he's expected to make this decision this week. Uh, I think um, that based on what I've seen and what I've heard, that there's no doubt Ed Reed ends up back with the Ravens. I think the only way he doesn't end up back with the Ravens is if some team in the last minute swoops in with a huge money offer, which, to be quite honest, I don't see happening because I think it would have happened already. Uh, Ed Reed... Like Ray Lewis, I think it's very important for the guys like that, uh, quality players, Hall of Fame players, for them to stay with one organization their whole career if they can. The Ravens have showed obvious interest in bringing back Ed Reed. I think with the exodus they've had from their team, whether it be Kruger, Ellerby, Ray Lewis, and Bolden, most notably Ray Lewis and Bolden, that to get Ed, to get Ed Reed back in the fold is even more important now for the Ravens uh, from both an on-the-field play point of view, but most of all uh, for the leadership. Uh, to lose that much leadership in one season uh, I think would hurt a team uh, like the Ravens and um you know, certainly, uh, even Danelle Ellerby's not, not there anymore either. So I think there's more of an emphasis for the Ravens to want to bring him back. I think Ed Reed, as it is his right to do, went through the free agency process. Uh, I think in the end, he's the kind of guy that wants to be where he has been his whole career. And he comes back to the Ravens at a decent money deal. I think exactly what the market will bear for a guy like his services. Uh, you know, the Ravens are a good organization. They're, you know, they're like the Patriots where they're not going to overpay for anyone. But there's that allure of going back to the Ravens from a player's point of view and always being a part, usually, of a team that's in the hunt. And you can't say that for a lot of teams. Certainly Houston looks like uh, you know they're going to be good here for a little while and that the window would be big enough where if Ed Reed did go there, he'd be on some good teams. But I just think when Ed Reed leaves the Houston facility after all that whining and dining and everything like that, for him to leave there without signing a deal... Um, I would be a red flag to me if I was a Texans fan. And I would look for Ed Reed ultimately to make the decision to go back to Baltimore, finish his career as a Raven, and obviously go in the Hall of Fame then um, as a member of the Baltimore Ravens, uh, You know, looking for what it would be his second Super Bowl by returning uh, to his team. And uh, you know, let me know what you guys think of this Ed Reed situation, how you see it panning out. I obviously completely think he's going to end up going back to the Ravens. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at SNewsAnalysis. And guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I upload 5, 10 videos a day, sports talk videos, mostly about the NFL. Thanks again for listening, and have a great afternoon.